<laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to our WWE Survivor Series 2020 prediction video. And yes, I am back once again in a three-way video prediction call with Laura and Callum. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Uh, so Survivor Series, um, the, the final of the big four pay-per-views this year. Um, the card looks okay. It's Raw versus SmackDown. No NXT this year, which is a shame because I really enjoyed NXT, NXT's involvement last year, but unfortunately not this year. Um, and of course, the show is also commemorating 30 years of The Undertaker. It takes us 30th anniversary because it was at Survivor Series 30 years ago. Um, he, well, 30 years ago, 1990, he made his debut. So yeah, uh, it's great to have you both, got, both guys, both of you back, like we had for SummerSlam. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get to it. <laughs> okay. Yes. And the first match is a, a match of the year contender. I hope you're ready. Um, oh. Yes. So the first match we have is a champion versus champion match. Yes, we have Bobby Lashley, the United States champion, going up against Sami Zayn, the uh, the intercontinental intercontinental champion. Yes, it's a it's kind of a rematch if you think from Money in the Bank. Two years ago, remember Bobby Lashley's sisters and that awful feud. Oh, dear. oh God, yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, Laura, take it away. Who have you got, Bobby or Sa Sammy? So, um, I think Sammy's going to put up a good fight, given that he's got the title. Um, mm. But my instinct is that Bobby Lashley will use the Bobby Lashley power and strength that will come through and perhaps some backup from the Hurt Business as well. So mm. I'm going to say Bobby Lashley on this one, just for the power, the strength, and possibly the backup. Okay. Uh, Callum? I think pretty much the same. Yeah, I think uh, I think Bobby Lashley is going to win with um, the help of the Hurt Business, I think something along those lines. Because he's not really, he's not losing or anything in the Hurt Business are looking very strong. I don't even think I've seen Sami Zayn really since he beat Jeff Hardy and AJ for the for the belt at uh, Clash of Champions. Honestly, I'd, I'm you know that could mean he could win, but um, our retribution get involved and cost Bobby Lashley. But for the sake of this, I'm just going to say Bobby Lashley wins. Okay, um, I'm going to go with Sami Zayn um, because I think I think retribution are going to come out. And cost Bobby Lashley the match. Um, but it's it's really the flip of a coin. Um, Bobby Lashley could just could just squash him in five minutes. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to say Sammy because I've I've, I've, I've liked him as Intercontinental Champion. You know he's he's winning matches quite cheekily, like Apollo Cruz last night. He, like he just he tied him under the ring and he, he couldn't get out. So like he's he's like doing really cheeky dirty ways to win. He might do the same with Bobby. I don't know. Um, but, but toss of a coin. I'm going to say Sammy Zayn with. And retribution come out because maybe we're going to get hurt business and retribution at TLC. I think mm -hmm. so. Yeah, Sami Zayn, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. On to the next match. Yes. Uh, what was it? Okay. Yes, we have a, a tag team match now. Yes, we have the New Day. Yeah, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, the Raw Tag Team Champions, going up against the Street Profits. Yes, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, because, of course, they, they swap belts on the brand split. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but also, this match could change because New Day are facing the Hurt Business on Monday for the Raw Tag Team belts. So this match could change. But as of right now, we're just going to say what, what it says. So, uh, Callum, uh, who have you got, New Day or Street Profits? Um, interesting. I, I think, to be honest, if the Hurt Business, well, actually, I don't know if the Hurt Business would win on, on, on Monday or not, because, again, Retribution could cost them. I feel like if it's the tree, Street Profits versus the New Day, I think the most likely winners would be, I'm going to go for the New Day because they've had the titles for less time than the Street Profits. The Street Profits have had the titles for ages, and um, what feels like ages so i feel like if you know if it's still the new day and street profits then the new day will win okay okay laura um oh gosh this is tough uh blah, blah, blah. i'm gonna go for the street profits i'm gonna go against callum um just because i think that 
the they could do with a little bit more of a push. I think they need a little bit more credit than what they're getting at the minute. I think a good match at Survivor Series could give them that. Um, but we shall see. I, I, I find it just interesting, like Kofi and, and Xavier, now that they're so separated from Big E, how they, you know, they could have a, a bit a good match. So um, I'm going to stick with Street Profits for now. And we'll see. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got two predictions, basically. If it's Street Profits and New Day, I'm going to go with Street Profits because I think they're the, they're the, the newer tag team. Um, I hate to say this, but I'm, I'm just so bored of the New Day. And I, I know they can't. <laughs> I know they kind of split up and Big E's on SmackDown now and New Day, it's, but I'm just done with them. I really want all three of them to just go their own way. But like, <laughs> like, like Fleetwood Mac, go your own way. But anyway, um, I'm going to say Street Profits to um, to win this because I think they're, they're more, I just, I just prefer them to be honest, but whatever. If New Day win, whatever. But <laughs> if, if Hurt Business win the belts on Monday, I think Hurt Business will win. Um, yeah, the her business will. If they win the titles, the her business will be the street yeah. profits. Yeah, I think so because you know MV, there's four of them. If MVP and Shelton Benjamin or any of them get involved, so I think yeah, but whatever. I'm gonna say street profits if it stays as it stays as it is, and if it if it if um, if hurt business win, hurt business. Yeah. <laughs> okay, on to the next match. Yes. Um, oh, oh goodness me! Right, we have a five on five women's. Survivor Series elimination match. Yes. So Team Raw, we have Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, <laughs> Mandy Rose, Dana, Dana, Dana Brooke, and Lana. Oh, Lana. My, oh my goodness. He's been put through a table about 58 times by, by Nia Jax. Uh, and Team SmackDown, we have Bianca Belair, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, and two members who have not been confirmed yet. So yeah, it's... Is what I'll start with this one, uh, Team Raw. Um, just because they've got Nia Jackson, and Shayna Baszler. Um, Team SmackDown doesn't look particularly strong, apart, apart from Bianca Belair. Um, I know we still have two members to be, to be yet to be confirmed for SmackDown. Maybe maybe Charlotte comes back. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm, right now, I'm just going to say Team Raw, because their, their team looks stronger. Um yeah, team team raw. I don't. And to be honest, that's all I've got to say. <laughs> um, Laura, who have you got? Um, team raw as well. I don't have very much to say in this. I love Bianca Belair. I think she's fantastic. Um, mm. But it's completely dependent on who those other two people are going to be. And at the moment, I literally have no idea who those two people are going to be. So I'm going to stick with Raw. Um, they've got a very strong team of wonderful ladies. So there we go. <laughs> okay, come. <laughs> I predicted Team Raw for the first two things so far. So for this one, I'm actually going to... I feel like I have to weigh it up, and I'm going to say Team SmackDown. Because Lana... I feel, I feel like Maya Jax will just eliminate Lana herself. <laughs> She'll probably just give us someone drop in the middle of the ring and get someone to come from SmackDown to come and pin her at this rate. Um, but I just feel like Liv Morgan, Dana Brooke, and Lana, like... Why? Why? <laughs> so Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax, fair enough. And SmackDown's team doesn't look exactly strong either. But two more members, you know, where's Charlotte? Could it be Charlotte? Bailey hasn't. What about Bailey? She has nothing to do at Survivor Series. She could be one of the yeah. last members. Carmella. I'm, I'm not really sure. Carmella, I guess, could be. Yeah, Carmella and Bailey maybe to even out the teams a little bit more. But just for the purpose of the fact that I've said Raw so far, I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say SmackDown. Team SmackDown. SmackDown women. SmackDown ladies. Mm-hmm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um, all right. Well, that's, that, that's that done. M- moving on. Uh, yes, we have... Well, we have a champion versus champion non-singles title match. Yes, we have Asuka, the Raw Women's Champion, going up against the boss, Sasha Banks. Yes. <laughs> Sasha Banks. Sasha. <laughs> 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 Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Sasha Banks, the SmackDown Women's Champion. Uh, yes. Uh, so this is a rematch, I believe, from SummerSlam. And I think Extreme Rules too, because they, 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 they know each other very well. Um, and Laura, Laura, go ahead. Who have you got, Asuka or Sasha? It's quite tricky, this one, I think. I think this is a really tough one, and I think it's going to be a really tough match as well. Um, mm. These are 
two I would consider some of the best wrestlers in WWE at the moment. Um, oh, oh, I yeah. think they're fantastic. Um, I have a feeling Bailey has nothing to do yet, and I know we've said that already, so it could mm. be that she's in the tag team, but I think she could have some interference in this um, to assist Oscar's win, which uh, bugs me because I would I would hope that Bailey doesn't get involved for once uh, would be quite nice. So I think it's going to be an Oscar win, but I would hope that Bailey doesn't get involved. Okay, so you've got you've got the Oscar, yeah. The Oscar. Yeah, yeah, Oscar. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah, However you me, pronounce it. Yeah, me, <laughs> me and Callum Drake take the same Oscar. Uh, okay, Callum. <laughs> uh, Oscar or Laura. Oscar, Oscar. Oh, Laura. Oscar or Laura? I mean, <laughs> well, we can try. Laura, you didn't tell me you were the SmackDown Women's Champion. All right. Um, uh, d- difficult because Bailey doesn't seem like she's finished with Sasha, but then also there's Carmella as well. Whereas with Oscar, who, who, who's really nobody's a threat to Oscar at the moment, I would say. So there's more mm-hmm. chance that Sasha will lose from interference. Um, I think because Sasha's the, the new champion of sorts, I know that doesn't always make sense because Daniel Bryan was the new champion and so was AJ Styles and they both lost to Brock Lesnar when that happened a couple of years ago. But as Sasha's the new champion and needs to be needs to be built up a little bit as a credible champion, even though we all know she already is, I'm yeah. going to go for Sasha Banks. The Bows, yeah. The Bows. Yeah. So I'm, gonna go for, I'm gonna go for Sasha Banks. <laughs> okay. Sasha. It's this is I think this is probably the toughest match on the card to call. Um I'm gonna say oh Asuka. Asuka. Um because um well Sasha's already broken the curse, thank God. She beat Bailey for the SmackDown belt last week. Yes. Thank God. The curse mm-hmm. is broken. She, she had a successful defence. Get in. Um, <laughs> but um, Carmella has been attacking um, Sasha on SmackDown. So I think, yep. that's go- I think that's going to be her first feud, maybe at TLC, uh, for the belt. So I'm going to say, because of interference from Carmella, um, I think it's going to be a really good match between these two, as they, mm-hmm. as they, as they had at SummerSlam. Uh, I'm going to say Asuka with, uh, hits the Asuka lock, yeah. And then by, by interference from Carmella, yeah. But it should be a good match, yeah, definitely. I think that's going to be good. Yeah. Yep. Okay, on to the next match. Yes, we have the men's five-on-five Survivor Series oh. elimination match. So for Team Raw, this is a this is a good team. I, I love mm-hmm. this team. We have AJ Styles, the team captain. We have Big Boy, Keith Lee. Uh, we've got Sheamus, uh, Braun Strowman, and Riddle. Oh, goodness <laughs> me. It's Matt Riddle, Vince, for goodness sake. Um, uh, and Team SmackDown, we have... Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and to be confirmed, um, Callum, who have you got, Raw or SmackDown? Um, well, I'm going to go for Raw because I'm going to be I'm going to be honest. Team SmackDown. I mean, King Corbin, yeah. Kevin Owens, I mean, he's good, but like, can he save uh, Jey Uso? I mean, he's on been, been on a roll recently, but. Like Kevin Owens, he's beat Kevin Owens, he's beat um, AJ Styles, and Daniel Bryan. Well, yeah, I know, but yeah, I guess so. Seth Rollins lost to my boy last night. Oh yeah, <laughs> I um, I, I just think that Team Raw's team is better. You know, AJ Styles, Keith Lee, Sheamus, Braun. Um, I guess the, the only weak, not I would not I would say weak, but the you know on that team would be Riddle, but. <gasps> Um, otherwise, I think Raw's team is much better, and I think Raw should have this win. Okay, um, Laura, I'm exactly the same. I'm saying Raw completely on this, just that they've got a much stronger team. Um, I think with this to be confirmed, um, perhaps maybe throwing the ball out there, it could be a WWE Hall of Famer. I don't know. I don't know who it might be, but it could be completely someone we aren't expecting. Um, I don't know what your thoughts are. Imagine if it's, imagine if it's Undertaker. Oh <laughs> no, my god, that'd be amazing. That, that, that. <laughs> well, um, but... 
Mm. I can't see it, but I'm just that'd be really cool. Yeah, that, that, that's actually a good that. idea. Yeah, that's very. That'd good be idea. amazing. I'd be keen. <laughs> that'd be uh, that'd mm. be good. But no, um, raw for me. I haven't really got very much more to say. I just think this that yeah, their team is pretty pretty good in in comparison. Um, it's it's tricky because I feel like whoever gets finally the last person to get an answer team SmackDown could be a big name. I don't know who. Um. It could be, but it could be Buddy Murphy. It could be Rey Mysterio. I, I don't know. But right now, I'm going to say Team Raw. Yeah, because I just think that that's such a strong team. AJ, like I said, um, Big Boy, Keith Lee, Braun Strowman. I just think that's a very strong team. Um, although they, they have been fighting a lot. Like I think last week on Raw, they had a big brawl, and AJ was like, "Sky, stop fighting! Stop fighting!" <laughs> uh, with this with this big bodyguard. Oh my, <laughs> he just stands like a statue. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna say Team Team Raw was this to get the win too. Yeah. Okay, and on to the final match um, as of right now. Yes, a match which could change depending on mon Monday. After if what happens on Monday, we do not know. But right now. Yes, we have a, a champion versus champion non-singles title match. Yes, we have Randy Orton, the WWE champion. Yes, after he won the belt at Hell in a Cell. Uh, yes, we've got an up against Roman Reigns, the universal champion with Paul Heyman. Um, obviously, this match could could change because R R Randy is facing Drew on Raw for the title. And Drew faced Roman last night on SmackDown. And he beat Jey Uso, so... Um, maybe they're teasing something there between the two. I don't know. And they have, they have, like Callum said, they've done this before with the Survivor Series. Like we thought it was going to be Jinder and Brock. It was AJ and Brock. We thought it was going to be AJ and Brock. Then it was a bang of Brian and Brock. So they, they do change last minute and they might, they might do it here. I don't know. But right now, uh, Laura, who have you got? Uh, Randy, I... Randy, or, <laughs> Randy or Roman? Uh, think with your head here because Roman's undefeated. <laughs> I just, well, <laughs> um, I'm, well, I say I'm thinking with my head. I'll I'll plan it out. I've got obviously I'm going to stick with who I would go for anyway, which is going to be Randon, Ran Randon, <laughs> Randon, Randon, Randall, Randy, Randon. <laughs> Randy, Randon. Um, Randon. So um, I think you know Roman Reigns. I really hope this match doesn't change because I'm quite looking forward to this one. Um, Roman Reigns has had a pretty brutal kind of you know, the feud with the Usos, um, that's his own mm. family. So I think he's going to put up a really, really pretty nasty fight. Um, I think in this match, it's both pretty much a personal, they're not bothered about the brands, they're bothered about personal legacies. You know, so it could be anyone. Um, yeah. But I, I know we've talked about interferences before. I'm going to bring in another one. You did um, Randy with the fiend at the moment there could be something there um and maybe mm. for if we put the shoe on the other foot then for roman it could be um possibly the usos i, I don't maybe not but someone else who he's oh daniel you know, bryan well mm. possibly that'd be cool i would quite like that that'd be good um and then there is mr money in the bank who's still Oh, God, around yeah. and looking for it. So it could be the, the Miz. Miz. Yeah. So, um, oh, he knows. No. He's I'm going to cash in. Oh, please don't. <laughs> don't ruin it. Thing. Which one don't. is he cash in on? Both. Oh, Randy. Both. Definitely <laughs> um, so, uh, my prediction for this um, I think Randy's going to win, but I think it's going to be dif disqualification or something. I, I just, well, we'll see. I don't know, but I'm going to stick with Randy. It's so tricky this match because this is it could change. Drew, it could, Drew could win. Drew could win the belt back on Raw. The Miz could cash in. <laughs> or the Fiend could interfere. It, so I would love. I would love the Fiend to interfere. That is, I think it just has that whole, well, ear, you know, that eerie thing about it. Be yeah. quite cool with the Undertaker. Got, let's bring him in as well. He's got unfinished business with Randy. Like we saw on the Fireflies One House, you know, we're, we're, <laughs> where Randy burnt down Bray's house. So we know that's definitely a feud that's going to happen. The mm -hmm. feud wants yeah. to pay back. So, yeah. Okay. Um, Callum, Randy or Roman? Um, I don't want to say this is an easy choice, but surely it's got to be Roman Reigns. No! <laughs> I just feel, I feel be, just because he's got this, you know, he's a heel and with Paul Heyman, and undefeated since he returned, this, that, and the other, the tribal chief, etc. Like, him losing now would, like, derail a lot of that, whereas Randy's, well, yeah. Randy had lost two 
consecutive pay per views to or three consecutive pay per views to Drew McIntyre and Keith Lee. So I feel like if Drew loses, I'm um, sorry, if Rand Drew Randy, if Randy loses, it's not going to be that bad for him, I guess. Where if Roman loses, it takes a lot of away away of that lot of the tribal chief stuff that he's got going on, like you know, on the best head of the table, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. I feel like that's the main reason why Roman's gonna gonna win. But I think Randy will retain on Monday. I don't think Drew will win it back yet. Um, yes, I- if he will. Um, so I'm gonna go for Roman Reigns to. Uh, to win, which I think means that I have got um, three three for Raw, both Raw and SmackDown, so it's a draw for me. I think. I think that you know, Randy is you know will hold on to it until Edge comes back. So I don't know. WrestleMania main event, Edge wins the Raw Rumble again. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah, all, all the fiend with all the fiend could could beat Randy for it at TLC uh, yeah. or, or the, or the yeah. Royal Rumble. We, we do we do not know. It's it's very Who unpredictable. Knows? Uh, okay. Um, this is I don't know what to say because I feel like this match isn't going to happen I feel like it's either going to be Miz versus Roman or Drew versus Roman right now I feel like Randy's not going to make it to survive really? I really hope it's not going to be Miz versus Roman. I, that I, would be oh, no, 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 no. You can't have that as a showcase match of Survivor Series. The Miz versus Roman Reigns. <laughs> hey, so you're it's WWE that you, they could do anything, you know them. Uh, but I just, what happened last night on SmackDown? Why would Drew have a big promo with, with Roman if they weren't going to tease something? I, I feel like Drew might win it back on Monday or Miz cashes in. I'm not sure. It's so unpredictable. But as of right now, if this match does go ahead, Roman to, Roman to beat Randy. Sorry, uh, Laura. Oh. But I just think Roman will beat him. But it, it will be a good match. You know, two, two brutal heels going head to head. But I think Roman will win if, if the match goes ahead. And like I said, the, fi- the Fiend or Drew could get involved and cost Randy the match. Yeah. But if this match goes ahead. But if it's Drew versus Roman, um, still, still Roman. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but. And also, let's not forget, The Miz could cash in. Because didn't The Miz cash in on Randy 10 years ago? Exactly 10 well, years ago. Oh, Possibly. Yeah, yeah, it was. Oh, I was after Cross of Champions or something. I don't know when it was, but yeah. So, yeah. Not like that. But right, right now, I've got Roman. But I've got a feeling mm-hmm. this ma- there's going to be a lot going into this match. So, yeah, okay. And that's it for the matches. Uh, we're going to talk about this this man, yes, because... The show is all the show is commemorating his 30th anniversary. I mean, he's definitely going to be cutting a promo. He, I think he's going to be there, um, mm-hmm. either as either just as himself as Mark Calloway, or he's going to be the Undertaker. We do not know. Um, there's definitely going to be a bunch of video packages throughout throughout the night about his best moments, his best matches. This was one of them. I mean, this is one of his best matches of all time. With WrestleMania WrestleMania 25. It's one of my favorite matches with um, Shawn Michaels. Um, and I think the question is, who is going to come out and interfere? I think, some, I think someone's going to come out and, and interfere and take with Taker's promo. I think Kane. Kane! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Yay. Please! Yay. <laughs> Please don't. But, uh, I think there's two people. I think there's two people. Um, the Fiend is looking very likely because there's been cryptic posts on Twitter and Instagram. Like, there's a picture of, the, of Alexa Bliss and then there's a picture of like the Undertaker behind her, which looks weird. Uh, the Fiend well, Ray posted, something, posted something on Twitter um, saying, you haven't beaten me yet, Taker, as The Fiend. So mm-hmm. I think yeah. The Fiend coming out and, and attacking Taker would be a big thing. Or, woo! <laughs> it could be Sting. No. Imagine. Oh, no. Right. No. I thought, I thought you were doing Ric Flair for a second. I was like, Ric Flair? Because... <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know Sting's like 60-something and Taker's in his, late, in his middle 50s, but it's a match people have wanted for a long time. And they could have like a, they could have like a cinematic match at, rest, like they did, like at WrestleMania where they could cover, cover you know, how old they are. But I think that would be, be such a cool moment. It's very Sting. ageist. He's probably <laughs> fitter than me. <laughs> no, I mean, just, I'm, 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 I, love, I love them both, but you know. They probably like, still work out in the gym more than I have in my life. Okay. <laughs> I, I, love, I love both of them, but you know, the, the, my, the, we passed the prime now. It's, it's, it's just age, it catches up to everyone, sadly. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that'd be such a cool moment, you know, Sting and Taker face to face. That's something fans have wanted. Could be Goldberg, Goldberg. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yeah. Hell no. What, what do you guys think will happen for Taker's anniversary? Do you think anything's going to happen? 
uh, yes, I would like The Fiend because I think that whole kind of eerie feeling about the both of them would work so well together. Um, mm. So I would really like that. Yeah, definitely. I think if there's going to be anyone, it's going to be The Fiend. Yeah, and maybe it sets up The Fiend and take her to WrestleMania 37. One, one last match, maybe. I, do you th- I don't know. I just wonder if they're trying to, you know, if they're going to do a big match, it's going to be when stadiums are full. Because that would be pretty incredible. Mm, Can you imagine? Yeah. The f- but then, you know, how long away is that going to be? Say, um, well, away, yes, I yeah, just build I don't know, it, in, in America, it they could probably do it next week. <laughs> well, I don't yeah, know. Do, do it in Florida. You can go whenever you want. <laughs> All right, uh, Callum, you got any um, predictions for Taker? I th- well, I'd like to think that everyone would be like stood. You know, when there's like a, you know, when they're stood at the front. On the ramp, clapping and everything like that. Oh yeah. I don't know if I don't know if I'd want even to see him have another match because the the boneyard match of AJ at WrestleMania was seemed like a good way to finish it for me with the whole cinematic thing and you know like the fact that he wasn't the actual Undertaker he was you know he he was like biker taker I guess. Um, I feel like he shouldn't have another match, but if he is, then it should be a retirement match against maybe someone like the Fiend or something maybe. But otherwise, I feel like people might, you know, the guests might come out that he's had notorious matches with. So it could even be Kane. You know, I, mean, I was joking, but um, Shawn Michaels and people like that, they've got to all come out. And well, they're, they're starting to come something. out here and there. So that'd be quite cool. I mean, Triple H would probably be there because he's want to take, take his biggest ri- biggest rivalries, you know, WrestleMania 27 and 28. I love those matches. So, yeah, we don't, we don't know. But it's, it's, it's exciting. I think that's the most exciting part of this card, take, take his anniversary, really. Everything else in the card, I'm just kind of, meh, yeah, <laughs> about they, really. They, they could do that a really good cinematic, The Fiend and Undertaker. So it could be one of those really cinematic loads of things going on, which would be quite yeah. cool. The, the swap think- match. <laughs> oh, God, no, the swap, the swap match. But I, think, um, but I think something is going to happen. Definitely, either the fiend or or maybe maybe Sting. <laughs> I think I think Sting would be such an <laughs> such an awesome moment. Just just a, even if it's a face to face. Oh, okay, right. Well, that that's everything for Survivor Series. Uh, yes. So thank you, back guys, for both joining me. It's, it's been great as always. Thank you. Thank you very yes. much. Um, I believe that three of us will be back pretty soon, actually, in January for mm-hmm. the Royal Rumble. Yes. Woo! Uh, um, and I'll be back with either Callum or Laura I'm not sure yet um, for TLC <laughs> in December I'll, I'll flip a coin <laughs> <laughs> um, for TLC in December so yes it's been great guys thank you both for joining me thank you for having thank us thank you very much yeah. thank you and we hope you all enjoy Survivor Series yes goodbye goodbye <laughs>